Every year, nearly half a million people in the United States receive medical treatment for burns. Every minute, a serious burn injury occurs. That's according to the American Burn Association. Burn and smoke inhalation from fires can be traumatic for survivors suffering from serious injuries. But a new product is changing the way those burns are treated. It's called Spray on Skin, and it's helping Eli Beasley heal. The professional firefighter is staying positive any way he can. He started playing guitar in the Marine Corps, but lately, it's therapy. That was one thing that helped me out tremendously to get my fine motor skills back. Trips to the hospital has been his life since October 2018. In a moment of carelessness, Eli tried to light a bonfire with a gasoline mixture. The flames just kept coming back and coming back and coming back and I could feel hands on me and I kept trying to roll towards that person. Eli was taken to University of Missouri Healthcare's Level 1 Trauma Center with burns over 75% of his body. A major burn patient in any one hospital is maybe the sickest patient in that hospital at that time because it affects the entire body. Traditionally, in very large burns, doctors harvest small bits of healthy skin to grow into sheets of skin for grafting. But Dr. Jeffrey Litt was one of the first surgeons in Missouri to also use a newly FDA-approved treatment called spray-on skin. A small sample of healthy skin is taken from the patient. An enzyme is used to break apart the skin cells, and the solution is sprayed onto the wound, the cells start growing to form a new layer of skin. The expansion ratio is huge. Clinical trials show patients recover more quickly using less skin than with traditional skin grafts. Eli had more than 20 surgeries and countless hours of stretching with MU Healthcare's physical and occupational therapist. Through it all, he's remained optimistic and hopes to get back to fighting fires next year. You have to wake up every day and choose to pick up the pieces of your own life. Finding himself one note at a time.